why the NFL players kneel, and the reason is among many reasons. And so I know by now you all seen the videos that have been viral with George Floyd's death. So LeBron James and athletes are speaking out on the issue of this man's death. And so this is by Cassandra Negley. And this is through the Yahoo Sports. And so prominent sports figures, they spoke out on Monday after the video began to spread all over social media, which we have seen showing a white Minneapolis cop with the knee on the neck of the black man who later then died this week. And so federal authorities are investigating the incident on the request of the police chief, Medaria. Okay. Okay, so Medaria Ar Arredondo, per the Minneapolis Star Tribune. So Arredondo or Ardondo said that he had asked he had asked for it after receiving additional information and viewing the video taken by bystanders begging the officers to listen to the man saying that he couldn't breathe. So the man's name is George Floyd, and I'm sure a lot of people know by now if you've seen the video. If you hadn't, it's all over the social net, and uh, it's all over Twitter. So being a black person or black man or black people in America should not be a death sentence. And so I kind of added a little more in that because we have recently seen in the course of a month uh, several incidences that have occurred to black Americans that have not all of them have been death, but there has been enough one too many deaths that we have seen and so mayor jacob frey said at a news conference by way of star tribune for five minutes we have watched a white officer press his knee into the neck of a black male five minutes when you hear someone calling for help you're supposed to help this officer failed in the most basic human sense. What happened on Chicago and 38th last night is awful. It was traumatic. It serves as a reminder of how far we have to go. And so he continued visibly shaken. Whatever the investigation reveals, it does not change the same truth that he should still be with us this morning so it's just really a sad situation and I'm saying this because there are more articles that are cropping up all over social media about this incident and it's really sad so the mayor said that the officers involved have been relieved of their duty. They've been terminated. And so those of you who haven't seen that article, that has also surfaced. So the video, and there's been videos about some of the things that have happened. So the video continued to circulate and draw reaction on Tuesday with sports figures lending their voices to this discussion. So Stallworth, why NFL players kneel? So remember... Colin Kaepernick, when he was kneeling, and he he doesn't have he doesn't have a job in terms of his position where he was in sports because of him kneeling and protesting for these very same reasons that we're seeing happen all too close back to back, and so you know I'm I really feel like they should not have let. Colin Kaepernick go. I, I really feel like he had a right to kneel and anyone else should have had the right to kneel. They see what's happening here in America and it's been going on and it's, it's now it seems like during the pandemic it's actually happening a lot more 
quicker in a, a fast paced fashion. It's like people have, the ones that are doing these acts seem to have gone bazonkers or they've gone crazy. And for some reason, they're on the warpath and it's open season for black Americans. Um, it's not safe for us to actually be in the presence of law enforcement if they're having a uh, you know, one of those days where they just look at us as an opportune uh, opportunity to just uh, un become unhinged. So, retired NFL star Dante Stallworth shared the video and pointed out that it was why Colin Kaepernick first took the knee during the national anthem, which drew so much criticism because he did that, and this was in 2016. And so the former, but not retired quarterback did not, or did, or he did it to call attention to the police brutality, which is still happening. And social justice, or social un, unjust, un, unjust issues that are happening today. So the video is tough to watch. And so many of us have saw the video and i'm not going to play it again because just seeing it it's you're seeing the man being killed right before your eyes and so stallworth devoted a handful of tweets to the incident on tuesday writing on a video shared by the retired defense defensive and chris long and so what kind of police training instructs you to keep your knee on someone's neck with all of your body weight for several minutes until the person loses consciousness. So that is from, um, this one is Dante Stallworth um, basically making the comment and it's underneath here and you can see it. And so Chris Long, what's the spine, what, what's the spa, spin here? What's the spin here? And so a lot of people that were posting, I guess they were posting the video had been shared multiple times. Um, and of course, the trend of local news affiliates using verbal gymnastics to avoid placing any responsibility of deaths caused by, caused by police continues. Most of them are basically police stenographers. And so LeBron James, do you understand now? Do you understand? So LeBron James echoed Star Wars commentary with an Instagram post juxtaposing the image of the officer kneeling on Floyd's neck next to Kaepernick. And so this and this is why Colin Kaepernick is kneeling. So, I mean, it, there is no clear cut way other than to see this picture here to realize this is the reason why he protested. Colin Kaepernick. And so, so many people were scrutinizing Colin Kaepernick, asking for him to leave NFL, that he was interrupting or interfering with sports. When most of the players that, that are in sports, a lot of them happen to be African American, if not other groups, but a majority of them are. And if you see these injustices going on in America, how can you just sit there and not speak out? And if you have a platform that shows everybody who you are and you're popular, why not voice your opinion on how you feel about what is happening in this day? Why turn a blind eye and act as though that these acts are 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 justified and be complicit with it and so that is the reason why Colin Kaepernick took a kneel and so he's showing you do you see the difference here and do you see why he did it and so that picture says it all it's just really sad so do you understand now or is it still blurry to you okay at the end Someone made the comment, stay woke, King James. So we know that's an athlete. So former NFL linebacker and current ESPN analysis 
Emmanuel Acho released an emotional video calling for white Americans to care more about police brutality. So he asked the same energy seen in when Cleveland Brown star Miles Garrett hit Pittsburgh Steelers quarterback Mason Rudolph in the head with his own helmet. And so, dear white brothers and sisters, we desperately need y'all's help. George, hashtag George Floyd. And so he has his video here where he is um, basically uh, requesting that people pay attention and be more vigilant about the brutalities that go on here in America to people. I feel sick. I feel sick. I feel guilty. And I feel confused. I'm sick because we've once again witnessed the murder of a black man at the hands of a police officer. <laughs> Again, we're tired. We have no more tears to cry. Uh, we have no more characters to tweet. I feel confused because I don't know if there's anything we can do. We're still going to fight. And when we're still going to express our pain and our anguish in hopes that someone listens. But my black brothers and sisters, we're confused. And I personally feel guilty because a part of me realizes... And I'm a sports analyst. These people don't want to see me tweeting about anything racial. Uh, anytime I put out a tweet, they're just going to roll their eyes and keep scrolling. But my life would be wasted if all I ever did was debate Jordan and LeBron and who's better. If all I ever did was break down a cover two defense and what that means. Because all of that stuff means nothing. It actually means nothing when people are unnecessarily dying. My white brothers and sisters, we need y'all's help. Ben Franklin said it best. Justice cannot be served until those who were unaffected are as outraged as those who were affected. We, my black brothers and sisters, have been outraged, but it's not enough. The energy was there, my sports fans, when... When Miles Garrett seemingly swung his helmet at Mason Rudolph and nearly killed the man, the tweets were there and the energy was there. But where is that same energy when a police officer actually did kill a man in George Floyd? Where is that same energy? Because we, my black brothers and sisters, we don't have any more tears to cry. And we're tired. So we, we desperately need y'all's help. I don't think I could have said that any better. So Dallas Cowboys outside linebacker Demarcus Lawrence said on Twitter that he was done being quiet and done with being angry. Okay. So Demarcus Lawrence done being quiet and done being angry. How can we feel safe when those men to protect us are killing us? When will minorities be free? to be Americans in America. So Tori or Torre Smith, a two time Super Bowl winner who is vocal on issues of social justice, also had shared a video. This is this may sound crazy, but I think the second officer is just as guilty for allowing this to happen. Who is going to be the first in line to defend this? And so that was Ray Smith, and he then answered the replies and described issues with in the police ranks with holding peers accountable. So, Torrey Smith, this was the perfect example. The guy was just standing there. What is their standard? What is their standard, and what happened to holding your peers accountable? To the pledge that they took to protect and serve. Joe Van Royen. People that like to defend this, sh this shit always say something about a few bad apples. And I've heard that saying. The problem is that you have all these supposed good cops that stand by and let this happen. Okay. 
So basically, this may sound crazy, but you think, I think the second officer is just as guilty, and I believe so too, to stand there and watch this happen. So Amy Trask, it doesn't sound crazy to me. Both are at fault. Both are to blame. Horrific, tragic, wretch, cruel, wretched, and cruel, disgusting, and more. Washington Mystics champion Natasha Cloud, also a vocal advocate of social justice issues, wrote simply, but some of y'all will justify this. Retired NBA champ calls him my twin, Stephen Jackson who won the 2003 NBA championship with the San Antonio Spurs, said in an Instagram that Floyd was his twin. And anybody from Houston, Pune, Holmes, know this was my brother. So he posted a series of videos and photos which contain NSFW language, okay? And so basically I think there's a video here. And so I'll play it. That's what I gotta wake up to, huh? This what I gotta wake up to, huh? Floyd was my brother, man. We called each other twin, bro. Everybody know me and Floyd called each other twin. My brother only was out there in Minnesota. Was he was trying to? He was changing his life. He went to Minnesota. He was driving trucks. I had just sent him up two, three boxes of clothes. And my boy was doing what he's supposed to do, man. Y'all go and kill my brother, man. I'm on my way to Minnesota, man. Whatever I can do. Can't let this ride, dog. Y'all not gonna be mad till it hit y'all front, dog. It's bullshit. So, now that you have it, you see the reactions. There's a lot more reactions where that came from. We're not gonna be silent about this. It is and has been, and it is a, a problem, and we're tired. We're tired of the killing. We're tired of being profiled. We're tired of the injustice that has gone on for far too long. And now it's time for people to stand up for what they believe in. So I'm going to let this video go. Thanks for listening.